Hello! In this video, I am going to demonstrate launching from the surface and arriving at, intercepting, and docking with an orbital station in flight of Nova. Uh, this is being done in the version of the game that's current as of August 8th, and I do think that in the near-ish future, uh, we should be getting some tools in the UI to make this a bit easier. But uh, it's quite fun in the current form of the game, and definitely possible. Um, you just have to know a couple of tricks uh, to do it, and then uh, you can enjoy uh, intercepting the orbiting stations too. Um, the first thing, of course, you have to know when you are going to uh, get to a station is to know which station to go to and this upper display shows you the nearby stations. Uh, in this case I want to go to this station called Christos which is at 188 kilometers altitude and is currently at about 17 degrees longitude and this number is the one we need to focus on 17 because that will tell us when to launch. We are at 26 degrees longitude and for the stations at 188 kilometers, I've found that about six and a half degrees of separation is optimal uh, for launching to them. Um, so that means that when the station is at 19 and a half degrees longitude, that is the correct time to launch. We are also a little bit south of the equator. Uh, which means that we need to burn slightly north, but mostly east, because the stations all are directly over the equator, traveling east. So to catch up with it, um, from our current position, we know we're south, because this number is negative. If this number were positive, we would be wanting to go slightly south of east. Um, and if this number were considerably higher in either direction, then we'd probably want to just um, transit uh, across the planet and land at a surface base that was closer to the equator. Um, however, all of the bases that you can spawn at are uh, near the equator, so that's not relevant if you're just spawning and launching directly from uh, a base. Um, right now I am in VTOL mode, yawing towards east, and when we get to a little bit north of east, it's, you know, that it doesn't have to be exact. Um, I'm going to start angling up and then transition into cruise mode, and you'll see that I burn almost exactly vertical. You can use this uh, pitch angle indication. It's currently mislabeled angle of attack, but it's your pitch angle to almost 90 degrees until we get above the dense atmosphere. And the reason for that is that the very dense atmosphere below about 10 kilometers will just completely kill your performance. There's no point in trying to get any velocity down there because you, you just won't be able to. Uh, so the most efficient thing to do is to burn straight up out of the dense atmosphere and then around eight or 10 kilometers start angling down. And I actually overshot a little bit here, but this is basically what you should do. Start angling down slowly with the aim of getting to about the 10 degree marker around the time you get to about 50 kilometers of altitude. If it's 45, that's fine. In this case, you see that I actually overshoot it by quite a bit. And then I like to try and level out, be pointed towards the horizon by around 60 kilometers. So I know that I have overshot uh, my altitude target at this point, but I don't know by how much because it doesn't show the orbital parameters yet, but shortly it will. And there we go. The first number that I care about here is the apoapsis, and that is the height of my ballistic trajectory. You can see um, on this diagram, 
on the right side. Uh, we're in a ballistic arc. Um, the diagram is, uh, you don't try to think of this in three dimensions, it's just showing you the, uh, uh, the mathematical orbit with uh, this point being the center of the planet at this point. We want to push this out to the other side of the planet eventually. But right now, our trajectory would take us up and then back down, and then if the planet didn't have a surface, we would fall and orbit around the very center of the planet. Um, so since my high point, my apoapsis, is too high, I want it to be about 188 kilometers. I need to burn down to get it back down. I could also turn around and slow down, but that would be counterproductive because I, uh, I want to catch up to the station and I need to bring my periapsis up to get into an orbit and to uh, increase my speed to catch up to the station. So I'm just angling down until this apoapsis starts to go down. I'm just sort of looking at the apoapsis number to make it go down and now that it's at about 180 I'm angling back up again. And again this doesn't have to be exactly perfect, we're still quite a ways away from the station so we're just sort of ballparking things here. You'll also notice that I'm now no longer pointing north, I'm starting to angle my, my heading uh, south and now we're actually south of east. In order to get this latitude um, or sorry, in order to get this inclination uh, to zero. You can see if I go back a bit, my inclination was uh, up around negative 10 initially. And by now it's gotten down to negative 5 or gotten up to negative 5. And that's basically our goal. We want our latitude uh, to arrive at zero and then our inclination to become zero, which means that we're in an equatorial orbit, zero and zero is the goal for that. Now the other thing that's happened is because we timed our launch uh, window correctly, we've ended up uh, within 75 kilometers of the station, which means that the game is now going to give us this anti-local vector. <laughs> and the anti-local vector will show you which direction you should burn in if you want to stop relative to the station. Uh, if I were to burn directly towards this, then uh, until my relative velocity was zero, uh, then at that point I would be moving in the same direction at the same speed as the station. But I would still be 73.5 kilometers away from it, which is not uh, ideal. So um, I know that I am below the station, so I don't really want to kill my vertical velocity relative to the station. I do want to kill my horizontal velocity though, and so I'm going to point generally towards this marker and burn that way, but above it. Um, I also need to be careful of my apoapsis getting too high, so I'm going to point below the horizon, above the marker, and sort of in the general horizontal direction of the marker until my relative velocity gets to a sort of low number. I don't want it to go all the way above zero because that would mean that I'm now going away from the station again. So I'm going to stop about here and I ended up at about 80 meters per second relative to the station which is pretty slow uh, in this context. That gives us time to look around, so at this point I'm going to try and find the station. I know it's above me, but I don't know exactly where it is, so I'm just going to look around until I find it. There it is. Now this local vector is the opposite of the anti-local vector. It's my relative motion compared to the station, or towards the station. If the local vector is overlapping the station, that means I'm heading towards it. So I'm just going to cause that to be the case by burning in directions that will cause that to happen. Um, and now we've ended up a little bit faster, but still relatively slow compared to the station. We could sit here and wait, but that would take a long time, so we can just burn 
towards the station to uh, arrive there faster. Now I'm going to be a little bit aggressive here because I want the video to end faster. <laughs> um, but uh, one kilometer per second within 40 kilometers is a little bit fast. It's You run the risk of overshooting or colliding with the station if you do that. But. Um, it also takes a little bit longer if you're slower. So that's up to you. Now we're closing with the station at almost a kilometer per second and we're only 15 kilometers away from it so we better start slowing down. There we go, we didn't overshoot and we ended up at, again, about 80 meters per second. Um, actually ended up a little bit far away from the station. It would have been nice to be a bit closer. But that's fine, we're close enough that we can just complete the rest of the uh, intercept with RCS. So our local vector has drifted a bit off of the station again, so we can use the RCS to push it back. And we can also use our um, RCS thrusters to slow down. And at this point you can use either the HUD or this lower display to see your uh, relative velocity. Obviously, at this point, your goal is for them both to be roughly at zero and to find a docking port. Uh, if you notice, around here there was a flashing light a little bit ago. The docking ports have little flashing lights on them. Unfortunately, I'm coming at this station from exactly the wrong way, but um, if you see a little flashing light, you can use the RCS to put, point your local vector at it, and then you'll end up right next to a docking port. Uh, and at that point, it's just a matter of docking. If you don't know, you can push the camera select button when near a docking port to enter this top view, which is much easier than trying to dock um, any other way. I have tried to dock <coughs> uh, using just the in-cockpit uh, display, which is the same information as this, but you have to use different thrusters for it, and it's quite difficult. This is much easier. And there we go, we're docked. I hope that this has been helpful to somebody. Um, once you dock, you can refuel and repair, and there's no missions yet, but hopefully soon. Um, all right, good luck and have fun.